Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here. Today I'll be doing a review over Naruto Chapter 600, Why Until Now, and I will be giving a discussion over Toby and Madara and the future of Naruto. So let's start off with Chapter 600. Kakashi uses his Sharingan and he basically confirms that the person who we see is Obito. Obito states that he doesn't go by that name anymore. What could that mean? We get a flashback to Kakashi Gaiden, and I'm sure a lot of people are getting angry like, oh wow, this took up a lot of the chapter, it took up most of the chapter. Who cares? When you buy a volume of manga, you don't say things like that. A volume of manga would be like five or six chapters, right? So you see a flashback and you're like, wow, I forgot some of this material and now I remember. I don't really see why, they want like a flashback to last like one page or something. Sometimes people are too serious about this kind of stuff. I don't really care if there's a flashback. Because, I mean, I enjoyed the chapter, so that's about it. And then, in the manga stream translation, I'm not sure if this was for the other ones, they use the word Nakama. Nakama means friends or comrades, right? So why didn't they translate it? In all these One Piece videos I see, they use the word Nakama. It doesn't make any sense. Just say friends. So Naruto basically asks, um, he asks Kakashi and Guy who Obito is, and Guy explains, like, you know, Obito's from their past. He's from their generation of ninja. Obito says he survived because, because Kakashi let Rin die. I'm not sure if this was Obito's, I'm not sure if these were his dying words, but they were something he said while, it was something he said while he was crushed by the boulder. He um he basically told Kakashi to protect Ren and Ren died on a mission or something, right? So he he has the right to be angry, I guess. I mean, if he was if he wanted Kakashi to you know, just strive for that goal, like just you know, wrap his life around that, I don't know. But then he says he has no reason to blame Kakashi. In my opinion, I think it's he's uh, he's not blaming Kakashi because that won't bring Rin back. It'll only cause more trouble, more bloodshed, more fighting. Naruto is trying to get back to the situation at hand. I really like how the Sharingan and like the fire is handled in the in the manga, like just like the effect, you know, like their eye just kind of widens it widens a bit, and then you know that's like kind of when they activate their Sharingan. And then the fire, it's like, it's got those thick black lines. It, it, I just appreciate the art and the manga. You know, because I've seen most of Naruto in anime format, and you know, nothing really beats the manga. I mean, you get to see stuff in motion and stuff in the anime, but in the, in the manga, you get to see just like, you know, the author drew this and, you know, his original art. Obito has nothing to say to any of them, and he's like ready to kill all of them. So he does a fire style jutsu, and this is big for all the people who said he's not an Uchiha. I think it's funny. This is the first time uh, Obito's done like a fire style jutsu, I think. And you know, now his mask is off, and that's like the only time he's done a fire style jutsu, which is weird. Kakashi is kind of stunned through throughout most of this chapter, and I'm sure he's pretty tired from using his, his Sharingan over and over again, and you know, it takes a lot out of him, uses up a lot of chakra, and he just can't move, I guess, and he's trying to process all the information, he's probably wondering, why is my friend, why did my friend start up this war, and why is he running around saying he's Madara? So Naruto basically blocks Obito's attack, you know, he has... The, the Nine Tails uh, cloak or something, or chakra. You know, him and the Nine Tails are cool now, so he basically stops the fire. Then Madara enters the fray, saying, You seem to be having a lot of fun, Obito. And then there, there are some words on the final page of the chapter says, It says the story is entering its final conclusion, but it shouldn't be entering its final conclusion because in an interview, Kishimoto said, he had, there was more of the story to tell, and I just don't think Naruto should end right now, there's, there's definitely more in the story that they could, 
you know, talk about. I'm guessing Naruto will have to either fight Madara or Sasuke will have to jump in and help him. You know, after him and Orochimaru come back from whatever they're doing that involves the the leaf, uh, I mean the Uchiha. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do. That's one of the theories. But now, at this point, I'm going to go into the discussion that uh, I did in my last video. So basically, my last review of chapter 599 was taken down due to the fact that I use a I use an image from the Naruto manga. I feared this would I fear, I feared this would happen, but I kept going. I persevered, and then I uploaded the video, and then it got taken down, and now I have one strike. Um, what else did I want to say on this? Uh, I put the image in there for a few seconds, and then someone actually colored in the Renegon and the Sharingan, so. I don't, I'm not sure if that would be considered stealing because it, it is edited, but I still can't say that I own the content because I didn't create it. And then that kind of makes me feel like I shouldn't even put images in my videos. I'll just have like a thumbnail. If I can upload a video that's audio only, that'd be pretty cool. The Shonen Jump video was taken down because I couldn't prove that I own the material and they wouldn't let me edit the video at, at all if I couldn't pr prove anything. So I, I was like, I'm in a situation where I can't do anything, so I'm gonna have to take this down. So I will go over like the, the series very quickly. Barrage, also known as Sensei no Balge, it's been canceled. It's pretty good right now, but it's gonna end. So I mean, just check it out. It's like 16 chapters or something. Taka Maga Hara, uh, it might get canceled too. The ratings are kind of low, but basically, I enjoy all three of these series. So just check them out. Assassination class is quite popular. It has the, I guess you could say, the most unique concept out of the three. It's, um, you know, they're trying to kill their teacher who's an alien. It's pretty cool. So with my very creative mind, I dubbed them the Three Kings as a reference to the big three, Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. Shonen Jump is a very unfair service. Read Bakuman Volume 3. It explains it all. My Naruto review was long, but I did have a few theories out there. The ones, the ones that really stuck with me are gonna be um, in this video. But my main one was like there are multiple Tobies. Toby has appeared many times in the series with a different mask, different hair, and a different voice actor. While fighting Minato, he had long hair and a different mask. I think it had like a flame pattern. Um, this, and he was taller, so. But Obito would be short at that time, which makes no sense. Because Obito was a kid. The Obito with Deidara was like very silly. He pretty much served as comic relief and Deidara's punching bag. And then after some time, Toby starts going by Madara. And then he's suddenly the leader of the Akatsuki. This is where he had a different voice actor. It kind of just switches, which is, um,. Another reason why I said there are multiple Tobies, he has a different mask for the war, and this Toby is confirmed to be Obito. I think there has to be more than one. I mean, it seems kind of obvious. Did you know Akatsuki means dawn or daybreak? I just wanted to add that. Toby with long hair showed his face to Gisame, who did not let us see, like, you know, Kishimoto didn't let us see this. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Um... Kisame didn't let us see this in the flashback, which um, one of the ninja from the leaf was like viewing into Kisame's mind, and then you know we were about to see uh, basically Toby's face, and then Kisame bites his own tongue, you know, and then he dies after that. Sasuke, Sasuke was about to see it, but Itachi did something to Sasuke's left eye that made him use a Matarasu whenever he sees Toby. So, there's another problem. The next theory is, is that Toby is being a pawn. He's a pawn controlled like, like how Nagato was controlling the pain bodies. So, and it kind of, I think chapter 600 might confirm this theory because uh, he says he no longer goes by that name. Which kind of makes me think, think like he's crazy or he's being controlled. But Madara called him. Obito, which kind of, you know, kind of just messes up the theory. It just kind of twists, 
twist his it all over the place. Um, Zetsu could be part of Toby or linked to him. While fighting Conan, Toby had like some goop come out of his come out of him, and this has happened like on multiple occasions when Toby had a fight. It's white like a a white Zetsu. But Zetsu has many abilities, and I'm sure we don't know many. We don't know that many right now. That's that's what I'm saying. And Toby, he's lost many limbs and re regained them with no explanation. The final theory kind of concerns Sasuke. There was a post on a, on a Facebook profile by another YouTuber. A fan left a comment speaking of speaking of a Naruto chapter, in which the claim was that the clan members of the Uchiha left to another location. And then Sasuke has been watched by someone throughout the story. I have to disagree with this. Considering the story, the story's progression, I'm sure Orochimaru or Karin would have noticed that they were being tracked. So, unless they develop some new technique where you can't be tracked, I'm pretty sure Sasuke, the, I'm pretty sure the Uchiha clan isn't alive and they aren't tracking Sasuke. But who knows, we still have to find out where Sasuke and Orochimaru went. Those that break the rules and regulations are scum, but those who abandon their comrades are worse than scum. If I'm going to be called scum either way, I'd rather break the rules, and that's not being a proper shinobi, then I'll destroy that.